Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight, I'm going to be giving y'all an updated video on this Queen Nyjah Clarence situation. But not only am I going to be talking about Queen Nyjah and Clarence, of course, the hot topic at hand is Clarence kicking out Queen's mama from not being able to see her baby and her sister going off on the situation. I took to my community tab to have you guys guess what video I was gonna be talking about and I let you guys know that I would shout out the first person to guess it right and y'all was on it swift. Within a minute of me posting that post, I wanna shout out GX Express and Sean the Vloggins a-C-O-M-O. -O. Um, they both was quick to guess that I was going to be doing this video on Queen Nyjia and Queen's mama and the tea that was brewing between the two. Also, Sean the Vloggins, A-C-O-M-O, -O, she did a video on your girl. I'm like, wait, am I at the level where people are doing videos on me? But hey, I guess, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So check them out. You know, they guessed it, so they get a shout out. And if you guys want a shout out on my next video, be sure to check out my community tab on different things that I'll be, you know, popping up and springing up on you guys. You know what I'm saying? Just adding a little flavor to the channel. Anyways, now let's get into this tea. So apparently Queen Nyjah had her baby and it was a long time coming whenever we get pregnant or we see celebrities pregnant or we see loved ones pregnant it be seeming like they be pregnant forever i know when i got pregnant i felt like i was pregnant forever but when it came down to my eighth and my ninth month that was like my most stressful month and I figured that probably was the most stressful month for Queen. So I laid off on the Queen Nyjah videos. My last video that I did, aside from me congratulating her on giving birth, was two months ago. Because I'm like, you know what? Let me lay off on the Queen videos. I don't got nothing nice to say about the situation. I don't want to add anything negative to the situation by putting out my videos. Even though other, other vloggers and YouTubers are going to do it regardless. That's just me. I've been pregnant before. I know them is the most stressful month, so I'ma just lay off. She gave birth to the baby. Congrats are in order. Giving birth is a blessing. You know, we go through so much having kids. We risk our lives giving life. You know, so I congratulated her, but all of that is aside. Time to get into it, okay? Anyways, so Queen Nyjah gave birth to her beautiful baby. We haven't seen the the face, but I'm sure the baby is beautiful. Um, and her mother decided to go up to the hospital to see the baby. And allegedly, according to Tina, which is Queen's sister, the mother was denied access on seeing the baby. But not only was the mother denied access, she was also disrespected by Clarence. So I'm going to read to you guys what the sister had to say. And I'm sure a lot of you probably seen it by now, but I haven't reported on my channel. So listen to it again. Okay. Anyways, so this is what Tina had to say. Clarence, you got something coming for disrespecting my mom Duke's own God. I don't know who ends think they is. Ish finna get hectic and come out the dark. Ends not five years plus. Ish ain't flying. Who the F is you, in? Queen, you not saying nothing? This your mother, 100. How dare you go against the grain? Ish not flying. This the last straw. We tired of holding Ish in, which gave us a reason to tell it all. Mom went out her way to come to the hospital like you asked her. For him to disrespect her and tell her to leave, he had no say. You only known boy for two years and my mom 23. You don't disrespect his mom, so why should he disrespect yours? I'm tired of ends trying to play picture perfect for the camera and that's not what it is. Y'all love y'all fans and supporters. Tell them the truth about y'all. They deserve after all, ain't they royalty squad? Question mark. I mean, would y'all let y'all boyfriend disrespect y'all mom? Question mark. Am I right or wrong? Come on, nah. Only brung it to social media because nothing was said behind closed doors. I don't care what y'all say. My mama deserves some respect. The Lord knows her heart. And y'all saw how she went out her way. God, my adrenaline is pumping. You lucky visiting hours is closed.
Okay, so y'all see what she had to say. She was pretty fired up and angry about how she felt Clarence disrespected her mama. She didn't appreciate her mama not being able to see the baby and things like that. Right when this went down, you know, I seen it immediately, but my birthday was approaching and I was just like, you know what? I The tea could wait. But my birthday is over, so let me finish serving y'all up this tea. So y'all know Clarence had to give his two cents on the matter. He had to make sure to offer up some tweets of his own to tell how he felt. He gonna defend, protect, and provide for his family regardless. In other words, he's gonna control the situation as best as he can until Queen gets a backbone and speaks up. But this is what he has to say. I take it so my family don't have to. I will always protect your mommy and one day when you and your brother get older, it will be your turn. Daddy will always protect you, baby boy. Daddy loves you, legend. People constantly trying to trick me out of my character and I won't let it happen. I seen it be done with my dad. I promised myself I will be stronger than him. So I guess um, in that last post, he's talking about the fact that his father is in prison for shooting a woman in the face. So I guess the woman who he shot in the face tricked the dad out of the character to get shot in the face. I guess that's what he's saying. Anyways, he then said, I'm good, y'all. I just wanted to share the type of shit we go through. Respect it. I got my own family I'm trying to build. I'm trying to give my son everything I never had. I don't have time to chill. Family be the most toxic sometimes. People in my family that I never spoke to saying I changed because I won't give them money or hang out with them when couldn't even get a text before. I thought I made it clear, but if you mistreat or disrespect Queen, which is quote unquote, you know, his cash cow, his money ticket, whatever, you, you fuck with his money ticket, he gonna come for you. I don't F with you at all. There ain't no plan both sides. If you wanna get along with me, get along with her. And then um, he also said that goes for my family and friends and hers. So, you know, that goes for his family, his friends, and most importantly, the, the family that he, um, you know, X'd out of her life and took away from her. That goes for her family as well. So, you know, she, she ain't got to speak up. She ain't got to, you know, say nothing. He going to protect and provide, I mean, control the situation as much as possible. You know, now her mom has decided to come forward and speak on the situation. And in her video, she talks about how she had a plan for Queen's life, how she, you know, had it mapped up on how she wanted things to go for her daughter because she wanted something better for her daughter than what she had for her life. And Queen's delusional clan is bombarding her in the comment section. They are dragging her for the filth. Here's Queen Mother giving a little message to Clarence, like basically saying he has the right to say who can see the baby and who can't see the baby. Our children, we have a right to say so, say over uh, who can see him and who can't. We have that right, that God-given right, and that's and that's fine. If you think that harm is going to be brought to your baby, um, that that that's fine. That's understandable. Whether you want, whether you're doing it by grudge, or whether you're doing it by worry, um, you have that right. Um, I had that right with my kids. I didn't want my kids to be made. Another thing she talked about in her video was the fact that she wanted Queen to get an abortion because she had a plan for her life already because she wanted her life to be better than the life that she had made for herself. So she wanted her kids to be better than her. Anyway, I had it planned out how I wanted her to finish school because she was an A and B student and I wanted her to um, go to college then get married and have a baby. I wanted this order, which kind of had, I had my nerve because it's like, uh, I didn't do it in that order, you know, but, um, I wanted the best for my kids, you know, be better than me. But anyways, and well, she found out she was pregnant with him. She just found out. And, um, I was like, well, we going up here to this hospital and you, you about to get an abortion. 
Okay, so as you can see, she's saying, you know, she wanted her to get an abortion and things like that. Then she talks about how a Bible scripture came to her and pretty much made her change her mind. And she's thankful that the child is here. A lot of Queens fans kind of ate her up in the comments because they're like, you can't plan her life. That's y'all problem. Blah, 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 blah. And if you're a mother, any mother, my mama, my mama's mama, most mothers that I know, they want their children to do better than what they did for themselves. Not saying that this is the map of the life that you have to lead by, but this is something that I kind of prefer because I went down this path and I don't want you to go through that path as well. My mom, the map, the life that she had mapped out for me was to go to high school, graduate high school, go to college college get a college degree and you know that's something that she really wanted me to do however me being um you know my own individual just like queen is her own individual sometime life takes you different courses so i graduated got a job i then pursued modeling and then i pursued other things so our parents plan for our life don't always map out the way that it's intended but I don't think that it's a bad thing for your parents to want you to have a better life than they have you know a lot of them are just eating her up because she said that she wanted her child to have a better life as if you know, that's a bad thing. Anyways, this is part one of the breakdown. I actually have to run out to do an event, so I can't even put in all of the clips that I wanted to share with you guys to break down where the origin of this beef with Clarence and the mom started from. I'll actually make that a part two video for you guys and let you know where everything started, how things happened, break down everything for those of you who think that this is all happening out of the blue that the family is suddenly jealous of Clarence or having this power trip when actually Clarence has started this power trip a long time ago so um due to me having to run out like I said for an event I cannot complete this video so this will be part one be sure to check out part two when I break down the origin of this Clarence and Queen's mama power struggle or, you know, issues or whatever you want to call it. All right, guys, that's all for this video. Stay tuned for more celebrity news and gossip and YouTubers tea. But in order to do that, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button right now. Don't wait. Do it right now. Also, um, I don't know what else I'm going to say. I'm trying to rush to get out the door because I really got to go. <laughs> but um, yeah, be sure to check out the other video. All right, guys. Peace.